Law of signs. Quint, law of signs. So we know what law of signs is. So what we're going to do is try to apply that. And the problem that we're going to do right now is kind of interesting because we're asked to solve this triangle ABC. And we're given that alpha is 27 degrees, 40 minutes. Remember that, that 1 degree equals 60 minutes. So we have to get our unit conversion here. We also have beta is 52 degrees, 10 minutes. And that's 10 minutes over here. And then we're given side alpha is 32.4. So we go from alpha out to A, and there it is, gamma. And I have to give my friend Lynn some, some love for this. He's, he reminded me that gamma is actually correct because gamma is the third letter in the Greek alphabet. So it should be opposite of C. I thought it should be, I like to put G there because it's G, gamma. Anyway. Having said all of that, let's start to solve. And I'm going to say that B over sine beta is equal to A over sine alpha. And I think we agree on that. So then I'm just going to start kind of filling in the blanks here. And I actually did all this math. Ouch. So we have... I'm just going to fill in the blanks here. So B over, well, we know beta is sine, and beta is 52 degrees, 10 seconds. Whoops, 10 minutes, right? 10 minutes. And that is the same as 32.4 over sine of 27 degrees, 40 minutes. Uh, Quinn, if you don't mind, I'm going to stop for a second because you see what I messed up. I can get this angular value right here, right? We know from interior angles theorem that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180, right? So I'm going to take the 180. I'm going to get this while we're here. The 180 degrees minus 27 degrees, 40 minutes, plus 52 degrees, 10 minutes is 180 minus... Was it 79? Is that right? Yeah. 79 degrees, 50 seconds. Whoops, sorry, 50 minutes. And then if you don't mind, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say that this is 179 degrees here plus 60 seconds. Is that all right? So I'm going to take 60 seconds minus 50 is 10 minutes here. And then... 179 minus 79 is 100, so we have 100 degrees, 10 minutes. Does that make good sense? Okay, so we have that done. Anyway, going to go back down to this math, if you don't mind. I'm really sorry for jumping around. Going to cross multiply here, so right? We know how to do this algebra. is going to cross multiply and multiply this to here and this to here. It doesn't matter which direction you do it as long as they end up on opposite sides. And we'll have B times sine of 27 degrees 40 minutes is equal to 32.4 times sine of 52 degrees 10 minutes, right? Then I'm going to divide both sides by sine of 27 degrees 40 minutes, right? So we'll have B is equal to 32.4 sine of 52 degrees 10 minutes all over sine of 27 degrees, 40 minutes. Why is this good news for us? It's calculator time, right? It's calculator time. There's no way we can do this without calculator. So this gives us 51.1, and that's an approximation. So I'm going to show my approximation sign here. I'm going to say that B is equal to 55.1 units. That would leave us with C to do, wouldn't it? And I'll start you on it, but I'm not going to finish it with you. And I'm just going to say that I would set it up like this. I would say C over sine of gamma is equal to A over sine alpha. And I would repeat in a very similar way to what we did up here, wouldn't you? Okay. So if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you have comments, please make them. And I want to thank Quint for helping me through this today.